Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome back to Minecraft Creative. And you may notice I have my shaders on again. This time they're nice and bright because I like shaders. I I try and play with shaders whenever I can, which is not necessarily always. Actually, that's just really nice. Um, yeah, so you have we have these nice rays shining down, which look really cool, and. You may also notice I have in the top left corner an FPS counter and that is because normally when I have shaders it tends to kill my game slightly like it is doing right now so I need to I often end up finding that I just need to keep tweaking stuff and I'm gonna just keep an eye on the FPS counter there and the FPS counter down on OBS see I love shaders but they're a bit um, intensive on the CPU. So I think I have saved some frames for now, back up in the 90s, which is nice. But I am over here by my nice cottages for a reason. Because if I just run down to the end, you can see I've built something down here. So there's some nice little jetties going off into the water, and there's some benches here, then there's a shop that sells fishing stuff, and has various fishing rods Llama stands, there's some sort of table there. Yeah, that's that's all nice. There's this nice area here. And then there's a cool wall. And then I have th there's trees. And I can go through the wall. And I have a wood with a path. And then there are little paths going off towards the houses. So I'm just gonna run through the wood. There's my nice path through the wood. And there's little houses with gates into the wood and there's a random beehive up there I grew, I grew these trees because there weren't any trees here so I planted loads and loads of saplings and that kills my game because for some reason saplings always produce lag and then this path goes back into the car park here all oh, random lag spikes thanks game sometimes I get random lag spikes and what I do is I just go in here and I do this boom Lag spike fixed. Don't know why. Somehow they just get lag spikes, and we, and then I just have to change the setting, and it refreshes everything, and we're fixed. But I can go into the house, and and all the houses now have gardens. So this person, they've got some sort of tiled thing. Don't know why they've got black tiles, but then they have sort of not particularly well known lawn. And I can just hop over the fence to this one. They have a pond with some stuff in it. There were tropical fish in it. They all ran away. But they have a nice mown lawn. They also have a gate. This person doesn't actually have a gate. Not all of them have gates. But then we can hop down here. We can hop over here. And this person has a garden railway because why would you not want a garden railway? And there's a nice little bridge over it. And there's a little stream, pond, river thing here. And there's the railway goes over a bridge. And this is all very cute. And I'd love to have one of these in my garden. But they have a gate in there, so we can go around and we can go into the next part of the garden, which is very neat. They have a neat path and these just stripes because they've mowed it with a professional lawnmower or something. And this person, they have a little path that goes around the edge here to the door. The door should be here. I don't know why the door wasn't here. Minor corrections must now occur. Now the gate comes out here, which makes far more sense than it coming over there. Oh, let's just shove into grass. There we go. Right, now we can go into the next one. This, and this person doesn't really have a lawn, they just have some nice flower beds with a whole variety of flowers. And then they have they have they even have some wither roses because why would you not want wither roses? And they have these nice tiled paths. And I left the gate open shut the gate and they have like a compost heap thing here so they put the compost on there and then you know, it looks like this and then down there it looks it's it, yeah so it's like it gets it turns into compost as it goes down because that's that's amazing also this is a new ish crimson trapdoors which are very good for this sort of thing because it yeah they look like sort of the panels and then we have the abandoned house garden which is just a mess and the back gate fence way 
no, that's not it, the back fence, that's what I meant to say, is all dilapidated, it's falling down, there's trees growing in the garden, and then we have this nice little one on the end, they have a little patio area, they have some steps down to the gate, and they have a lawn with some flower bed around the edge, and I want more grass, there you go, perfect, more grass, but that's, that's, all. Oh, we've got the frame rate, frame rate again, Problem solved. Just down past the road, we have another modern house. Because I like building modern houses, I'm utterly terrible at it. But this is probably the best one I've got. Come on, frame rate. No, fr frame rate. Frame rate. Please get back up over 60. Okay, fine, I'll do this again then. Sigh. So, we can go in. And we have some nice... Um sofas and there's some seats around a table, there's a kitchen area at the back here. Then we have the stairs which go up by this nice diagonal window. And I built all the out the out exterior. That's it, that's a word. Like an I was gonna say outside and exterior at the same time, so I end up with out area. It's a word, it's fine, I assure you. Then because it's a modern house, it's all very open plan, so you have one bed up here and you have another bed in here. And then you have a back door, which is on the second floor, but still. So let's now take a look around the outside. So we have this nice big window, more windows here. I could put... Yeah, do you think I should put this? Not like that. No, not like that. Glass panes are such a pain. Ha, 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 glass panes, they're such a pain. I don't know whether I like this. I think it would be nice, but I have it there. I don't want to have it also there. That might get a bit of frames. Woo. Lovely. Right, and then we have the window here. And there's the diagonal one, which I built. I built this outside diagonal thing. I'm just like, what weird modern feature might some house have? I know, a diagonal window. And then I'm like, hang on a minute, this nicely fits a staircase. Also, it helps that I had this sort of floor to ceiling window here which I'm going to make bigger. Even better floor to ceiling window. The floor to ceiling windows are amazing. But this one literally goes it goes from floor to above the next floor. And I was like, well, I can't have a wall, not wall, like a floor across here. So I put the stairs there and then have an empty area in here. And then I just added this little window in here. Why can I have the window down there? And then at the front we have a typical mob. Oh, I've crashed into a tree. I found a pond. I didn't know the pond there. Anyway, slightly sidetracked. This has this sort of typical modern house front where you have two curved bits. And then I have some windows, and this bit's really annoying me. It's better like this. Not square windows, I tend to find it rather annoying. And my frame is wrong again. I do not understand it. But then there's another window here for this room, there's a room there. There's a little window. Yeah, the, the dining room bit's a bit dark. Also, I have just realised there are no interior lights. I need to quickly fix that. I've just been adding some lights and I thought, I kind of want to have like some sort of ex extract fan thing. Like when you're cooking, you don't fill your whole house with smoke. So I, I just used the looms here and I didn't realise, but they have this really nice underside texture. It's really stripy and actually looks quite good for this. And then they have these sort of weird little things that do something to do with your, your extractor fan stuff. And then I've just shoved in some more lighting. But being a modern house, it needs one more thing that modern houses always seem to have. And that's like a swimming pool. So I'm going to shove a nice swimming pool down here. And you know what I think we should do for this? I think... I should do a little <laughs> So we now have a nice little pool and I can go swimming in it. Splosh. Unless there are sort of deck chair things, they're not deck chairs, what are they called? I have no idea. 
don't go, I don't have a pool and I don't sit by it because I live in England and it's not sunny. So, uh, there's a nice, there's a path that goes up to the back door and now this modern house can actually be claimed to be complete because it has a pool. And there's something else I want to do in this episode. So if I fly around here, there's this ugly thing here. This is serving no real purpose other than looking bad. So I want to get rid of it and build something better. And um, let's let's just do something rather ceremonious here. Whoa, that was so amazing. I've never seen something as good as that before. Let's just blow some holes in this ugly thing. Go away, you ugly building. Oh, I broke this building as well. Whoops. You saw nothing. Totally didn't break that building. That building is totally perfectly fine. Totally has always been perfectly fine. Did not damage it. Much better. I know, I have to fix all this. There is this weird bit down here that goes down here, and then I can go down here. And then we have this tunnel that takes you um, off this way. Warning, epilepsy warning. Woo. I hope you don't have epilepsy because you have just been blinded. Is that how it works? I don't know, but there's this tunnel here. Actually, it's quick to but if I hurry back over here, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I probably, I might just, I might like just redecorate it and have this as an exit from the building that I'm going to build here, which I'm not actually gonna tell you because I want to make a surprise, and then you'll be awfully surprised when I tell you. Yes, right. Let's let's start building the new thing, which I have totally got a great plan of what I'm going to be doing with so, it. So, while I'm building that over there, I'm also going to just be over here, and I'm just going to say, if you have any ideas for what you want me to do in Minecraft or in other games, games you want me to play, that sort of thing, do tell me. I'll try and do it. Not necessarily guarantee, but I can certainly try. And if you do give me an idea and then you want to find it or you just want other people's ideas to come through, don't forget to subscribe, that way you will be told when I do release videos and new people's ideas. And that is it for this, for this being a good YouTuber part of the section. So to my right we have my building that building, which I'm going to slide out of the shot so you don't see it. But I have realised that I in fact missed out some of the stuff I've been building, one of which is this. I have a weird statue of myself, and the eyes, when you get far enough away from them, completely disappear. So it's only when you come up the steps that my eyes appear, and if you go far enough away then the whole the signs appear. It's a bit weird. Also I have changed my graphic settings again because it turns out, just watching back from the clips, the resolution is terrible. So you see, that's why, that's why I don't use shaders all the time. In fact, I might have to turn them off. But I've also been adding, like, there's some fences here, and there's some more fences here, and if I fly over this way, there's a fence down there, there's a wall across here, there's no fences there, but I have been tidying some stuff up. Every little helps. Okay, I'm building this. It says DBC on it. D B C. And if if you know what that if you know what that is, it is fictional, so I somehow doubt it. But you might be able to work it out if I tell you that it's a thing we have here in Britain. But I have slightly changed it, so it is D standing for distracted, because that is me. But this is my building at the moment. We have some floors which are currently empty. And then we have more floors which are empty. And we have more floors which are empty. And then there's another floor, and this one's still empty, and they get smaller as you go down, because the building gets smaller as you go down, because that's the most practical way of building a building. But 
if I just hop into spectator mode, I can go into my lift shaft. So I have a lift, and then we have this the lift mechanism here, which goes at the top here. And the lift doesn't work. Can't actually move blocks. But we have a secret basement floor, which has like the manager's office, and this here is the original floor of the building. And the walls are all changed, but this sign could it sign terracotta. Good one with sign terracotta or great concrete. But that's the original floor. And then we can go around here and we have this, which is now just the escape route in case the manager uh, is being attacked for some reason. Not entirely sure why the manager is being attacked, but on the roof here we have the bit of the lift shaft, we have a bunch of random things, and we have giant gold lettering saying DBC on it. Just in case you hadn't got it from the back, there's DBC there, DBC there, uh, DBC around the back here. So, there's plenty of stuff to point towards the fact that it is called the DBC, and if you can work it out, then well done. If you can't, well, I'll tell you next episode. I have now done some interior work, which is nice. So we can go in through here, and then we go over this thing, which scans you somehow. Not entirely sure how, it just scans you. And then go up the stairs, first floor, and we have Audio Studio 1, which is just called Radio Station. Whoa. And we have this room with some soundproofing, and you can have some people sitting there and chatting and being recorded. Like me. Uh -huh. Then we can go upstairs again, and we have Audio Studio 2, and this one is has a green screen. And that's also why I've turned my shaders off, because so he just doesn't like green screen, but I have a lovely green screen here, so uh, they, they, they can make like music videos here. And then we have all this massive synthesizer equalizer thing over here, which does something. And we have lights and speakers and important things for recording music videos. I have no idea how to record music videos, so let's just pretend that all makes sense. But then we have Visual Studio 2 and um, VS1, which are currently empty because I have no idea what to put in them. Because I have a green screen in here, I don't know whether I want to have green screen in more of it. But that's that's what I've got. If you have any ideas of what you want me to put up there, then do tell me. And there's now some weird things sticking off the sides, which are totally not just covering up the sea lanterns behind the green screen to make the green screen green, otherwise the green screen goes all weird shades of green. But uh, that is uh, the DBC, which I'm not telling you the name of yet, although perhaps I should. Yes, I'm just going to I'm gonna tell you the name. Mm -hmm. And that's why it says DBC on it. That is all I'm going to have time for this episode. This episode is taking like a week to make and I haven't even edited it yet. And oh, the editing process for this video is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh well, let's hope I can get this video up bef before too long. But thank you for watching. I'm randomly speaking around. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now and make sure that notification bell is on. But until next time, goodbye.